Avery Hansen White, the most ideal student you will ever meet, is shown attending her school at the beginning of the film. Avery sets priorities for her activities and enjoys avoiding endeavors that don't add to her success or recognition. She is the current STEM competition winner. Every teacher loves her, with the exception of the one who teaches sex education. Despite this, Avery doesn't care much for that teacher because she doesn't think the course is relevant to her needs. When she gets to class, she turns on her laptop and looks at the next stemming assignment for the competition they are supposed to create, an app that might be able to help them with one of their problems. Although she has a serious issue that they are unable to comprehend, the teachers and other students believe that she could find it very easy. When she runs into her buddy Elson, she informs him about the competition. He poses the question that has her so rattled. Is it not the case that she must first identify an issue before using an app to fix it? Avery is a stickler for detail. She is flawless in every way and lacks nothing in her life. Her main obstacle is that she doesn't have a problem that she needs to construct and apply to solve. While strolling alongside Avery, Larson asks whether she plans to attend the upcoming prom with Casper. She reminds him that going to prom isn't a priority for her and that she has no interest in going. Larson is Avery's childhood friend, and they grew up together as she engaged in various competitions and experiments. He serves as her source of experimentation until their first year in school. When he tries to escalate things by kissing her, she retaliates by striking him. At that moment, they decided to remain friends. In spite of the invaluable experience, she declines and leaves during their senior year of high school. When she gets home, she begins to consider the issue in her life that she needs to immediately solve with an app. Casper gives Avery a video call, and they enthusiastically discuss their plans for the upcoming stem -om, reminding her that they have been dating for nearly a year and that he is willing to go out with her. He advances the conversation. Avery finds intimacy unsettling, even at the thought. She uses her feet to turn off the laptop while acting as though the network has stopped. At that point, she realizes that having sex is the only issue in her life. She was raised in a progressive household and has three mothers who have sued lesbians, so the idea of it terrifies her. The only males in the family are Deb, an artist who specializes in drawing clitorises, and Kim, who is Deb's partner. There's hardly anyone Avery could turn to for guidance in a situation like this. She makes the decision to develop an app to assist her in overcoming her intimacy issues and to use the app to support her in her relationship with Casper. Sue picks her up right away when she's strolling around the house during the competition, brainstorming about how to best develop the app. Susie tells her that since she is unfamiliar with the procedure as a whole, she should realize that intimacy isn't something that needs to be perfectly justified. She must be prepared to make mistakes. Avery looks for relevant material on the internet in an attempt to gather information for her studies but her efforts are in vain. She begins to read books, but she hardly learns anything from them. She also approaches their sex education teacher for assistance, but she is hardly able to provide Avery with any. As time passes, Avery's fear causes her to begin ignoring Casper's calls and texts. Susie observes this as well and offers her the book Fifty Shades of Grey so she can read and comprehend it better. In order to get more details, she also requests that she speak with her co-workers at school. Avery finds the gym enthusiasts or dance team to be either celibate or uninterested in talking about that aspect of their lives, despite her hopes of learning more from them. But then she finds out that Dana, a girl, might know how to help. Avery goes straight for Danica, who shows her how to take care of herself by sticking objects in her intimate region. To help with her practice of speaking of partners, Danica advises finding a partner. She looks for Larson right away since he is the first person on her list. She initiated the conversation in front of everyone, which makes Larson feel embarrassed. He pulls her out and asks her what she's up to. She tells him that she is going to meet Casper in his hotel room for the stem cell procedure, and she is attempting to find out in advance because she knows he wants to have an intimate relationship with her. He's her best option because they've been experimentation partners for years. At first, he refuses, telling him that she's kept him in the friendship zone since they were 14 in an attempt to persuade him. With no other option, Avery takes off her top and exposes her chest. After deciding to collaborate, Elson meets with her. 
They begin by kissing, and as things get awkward, Elson goes to improve the mood by turning on some music. When they get to tonguing fondling, she asks him to slide under her shirt and grab her chest. Avery experiences her first sexual sensation at that point. Avery recovers and turns to leave just as Larson is about to press the issue further. Despite having conducted other scientific experiments with him, Avery questions why this particular experiment feels strange. When she gets home, she has to do a ah. Uh. She looks into it and finds out more information about its size and other details. She then decides to make this her main concern and goes back to Larson to ask to lie down on him. When Larson says yes, she starts her practical training. The next scene shows Larson in a spacecraft with Avery trying her hardest to apply just the correct amount of pressure. Elson lets out a scream of delight as the spacecraft successfully takes off a few moments later. Elson then asks Avery to repay the favor, but she declines and turns to leave. Avery talks to Dana Gain because the competition is getting closer and she needs to improve. When Danica asks her opinion on using a vibrator, she brushes it off. Dana then advises that she apply coconut oil to her body. As she is getting into the mood, she gets a call from Casper inquiring about her stem cell presentation. She proceeds with her experiment in the bathroom and enjoys herself until the water gets too hot and she has to stop to apply cold pressure between her legs. After multiple tries, she calls Casper and begs him to turn her on. When Larson is unable to turn her on over the phone, they switch topics and begin talking about the periodic table. That seems to work, but is derailed by the idea of winning the competition at school the next day. Avery wants to learn about how to reach the G-spot. She talks to her co-workers about it, and one of her classmates touches herself to reach climax. Later, she meets Larson and invites him to another meeting so she can practice having an orgasm. She imagines herself as a narrow-minded appeal for sex. Avery inquires about his first sexual experience, to which he responds that he hasn't had any prior relationships and that he's saving it for the right person. They begin dating, and he tries to make his move on her, but she declines. He argues that love and sex are connected, but she disputes this. He tries to ask Avery to go to a science museum, but she declines. He wonders if they could grow closer after doing so much together, but her response disheartens him so he leaves during Casper's presentation at her competition. Avery finds herself thinking about Elson all the time, but she tells herself it's not love. Later on in the evening, she uses her newly created app to have sex with Casper, but she doesn't seem to enjoy it as much as she did with Elson. She exits the room, and the day after, she declares during her presentation that she is pulling her presentation. After Casper prevails in the competition, she goes home to tell Larson how broken her app is. Larson is still angry with Avery for giving him false hope over the years. He says he's happy. He doesn't have to sleep with Avery because she never really cared about him. After reviewing her earlier interviews, Avery begins to see that Larson was correct about the connection between sex and love. Shortly after, Kim counsels her to be forthright about her feelings for Elson. When she does, he feels embarrassed by her reaction during his music practice so he escorts her outside. When Avery confides in him and asks to go to prom with her, he says he's moved on and declines. She sobs outside and encounters her teacher, who imparts a life lesson to her. Afterwards, she runs into Lisa, his crush, who assumed Lesson was seeing her because she wanted the best for him. Lisa accepts Avery's invitation to prom after he corrects her and asks her to go with him. Observing Larson and Lisa from a distance, Avery acknowledges that emotions cannot be forced and expresses her happiness for Larson. As the film closes, she dances by herself at the prom.